Hello and welcome to another Carfix video from Carfix where I do what I love and I love what I do. Uh, today's video is going to be about uh, 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 no heat on a 2017 uh, Kia Sportage. Now uh, the, the passenger side does have heat but the driver's side uh, does not. Uh, now I pulled the codes out of the, the uh, control module and uh, the code was um, uh, B240677 uh, for the air mix on the, drive, on the driver door, on the driver's side. Uh, now, uh, uh, according to the data stream right here, I know as you can see, this is the driver side air mix right here, and the percentage says nine. So when I turn the knob, the number should change. The percentage should change, especially when I turn it to to, to heat. But it's not changing. Now the bottom one is it says 9.4. That's the passenger side. Now watch what happens when I turn it. It changes so uh, there's something going on with the signal or the uh, the uh, the, uh, the air mix uh, actuator itself so we're just gonna go there and uh, you know start checking uh, you know power and ground and all that good stuff first we need to locate the uh, the actuator for the uh, driver air mix uh, now uh, it's on the left side right here behind those uh, plastic trims so I have to remove the uh, the undercover of the um, steering column and look close it's it's right there it's this guy right here so I have to clear all this trim uh, so I can uh, get gain access to it all right now after removing all the the plastic trims and all the covers uh, I have good access to the uh, the actuator right here now the actuator has uh, five wires connected going to it. Uh, the orange and yellow, that's uh, uh, power and ground, uh, you know, for cool and warm. Uh, the other three wires, the gray wire is the, uh, the ground wire, and the, uh, the brown wire is the five volt reference coming from the control module, and the white wire is the uh, voltage feedback to the control module. Yeah, so uh, the, the feedback voltage tells the, uh, the control module uh, the position of the actuator. So, if the if the signal coming from the uh, uh, the uh, climate control system head is uh, is uh, is not uh, is working correctly, uh, I should see power on the uh, orange wire uh, when I move the the knob to the, to uh, to high, and uh, ground uh, uh, you know when I move it to cool, and vice versa in the on the yellow wire. All right, now I'm I'm gonna check uh, the the five volt reference on the brown wire, and uh, the tester reads five volts right there. The gray wire is the ground wire, and it's ground right there. Now for the yellow wire, it should be ground. Now when I move the uh, the knob to cool should feed power to it now it's feeding power to it now I'm, I'm gonna move it to hot and it's still on ground move it back to cool Now I'm going to do the same test with the uh, orange wire. Now on this one it should be the opposite. In cool it should stay ground. Now when I move it to high it should switch to power. Now I'm moving it to cool, still ground. Now I'm moving it to high. There we go. So basically, all the signals uh, from the, uh, the control module or the AC control module is um, are working correctly. So uh, the only thing left is uh, something's going on with the actuator. Now uh, the uh, this actuator, let me just switch this, move this like that. There we go. Now this actuator is actually attached to a, a mechanical door that is actually installed 
uh, inside the uh, the uh, the HVAC box right here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove the uh, the actuator and check uh, the movement of the door inside the uh, the box. All right. Uh, now it's, the actuator has three screws. One down here. One here. And the last one, I have to I have to use a stubby screwdriver because. Uh, Should come out, slide out. There we go. There we go. All right. Now this actuator is attached to this door right here. Now this should move freely right here, as you can see it does. So nothing is wrong with the the mechanical part of the door because I can move it by hand. So that's that's good right there. So the only thing left is to actually replace the uh, the actuator. Now I can check the resistance on the uh, on the uh, orange and black uh, orange and uh, yellow wire right here uh, to see if the uh, uh, if the motor inside because it's got a motor right here. If the uh, the motor has internal uh, you know uh, short or uh, an open circuit. But I think uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and replace this guy right here. All right, now I have the uh, the new actuator. Uh, we got it from the dealer. Now, before installing it, uh, it has to be lined up. Uh, there's uh, two notches on the uh, on the left side right there toward the front of the vehicle. Uh, they have to be lined up with this with this notch on the actuator. All right, now I got uh, all the, the the screws and the connector connected to the actuator. Now I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go back to, and scan the car and check the uh, the position of the uh, the actuator itself uh, with the scanner. Okay, now I got the the scanner hooked up to the car, and uh, now this is the HVAC system. Uh, now, the, like we said, the bottom one is the uh, the passenger side, and the top one is the uh, the driver side. Uh, now, the passenger side. If I move the knob, it goes up. So see, I'm, I'm moving the knob right here. And it says 90. Now I'm gonna move uh, the the driver side. And what do you know? It moves now. So that means it's working. Before it was stuck on uh, I think uh, nine percent I think. So uh, but now it's uh, it's moving. So so far so good. Now all I have to do is just uh, put the uh, plastic trim back uh, in place and. Uh, uh, that's it All right now after uh, replacing that actuator I'm checking the heat right here, and it's it's blowing hot and uh, You can see it says high right here, so And everything is working All right guys, this is the end of this video. Uh, thanks for watching uh, Please like share and subscribe and also check out my uh, my other videos on uh, on my channel And um, if you have any questions any comments, please uh, leave them in the comment section below uh, Thanks for watching and I'll see you then